I'm Bailey. I'm Zach. And now it's time for CHS Today. Nearly a dozen inmates were injured in falls and fights after a power outage occurred in a privately operated jail in Indianapolis and a backup generator failed to kick on. Indianapolis Power and Light has disconnected a power line in the area that had built ice accumulation when the outage hit Marion County Jail at 3.30 last night. They had to disconnect the line to deal with the ice and it caused the power to shut off and the generator failed to reactivate. There will be a mandatory eSports meeting on Wednesday in Mr. Mitchell's room during SRE. Players must attend. The new system for delivering and scheduling coronavirus vaccines in California is beginning to be rolled out in select countries. Governor Gavin Newsom had announced last month his administration tapped Insur Blue Shield to design and centralize systems to transport vaccines equally and reach low-income countries. Starting Sunday, everyone in the state of California must make appointments through the state's vaccine sign-up system, which is called My Turn. Due to the pandemic, there have been many class failures in an effort to recidify the problem CHS offering lots of summer school classes. Students may take one class at CHS and two classes with Indiana Online Academy. Students are encouraged to sign up for these classes. Summer school will take place from June 7th to July 2nd, 8 to 12 o'clock. Please contact your counselor for a list of classes that CHS is offering. Academic team members, the next virtual academic meet was postponed to next Thursday, February 25th at 5.30 in the Media Center. Maya Angelou was an American poet, singer, memorist and civil rights activist with a colorful and troubling past, outlining her autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. She has published many works, including seven autobiography, the books of essays, books of poetry, and is credited with many plays, movies, and television shows. Over the past 50 years, her work has been considered a defensive celebration and representation of the black culture. Lunch for tomorrow will be home-style beef and bean chili, seasoned waffle fries, baked apple slices, and a whole grain dinner roll, mini turkey corn dogs, and a pepperoni and cheese calzone. It is starting to get warmer out. Here's Sarah with your weather. Thanks, guys. So heading into this afternoon to this evening, it's going to be cloudy and around 35 degrees. But somehow tomorrow morning, it's going to jump up to 37 degrees, but we're still going to see those clouds. So heading into the rest of the week, the temperature is going to start to increase as we get into Tuesday into Wednesday and even entering those high 40s and seeing some sun. But heading into Thursday and Friday, we're still going to see that sun, but the temperature is going to decrease just a little bit and we're still going to stick around mid 40s. So spring's coming. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. There will be a softball call-out meeting for any girls interested in, the softball, in softball in the lecture hall at 2.50 on Tuesday. Official track and field practice has started. If you are planning on participating this season, practice are mandatory. You should be attending daily in the field house at 4. If you have any questions, please see Coach House, Cooley, or Paxton. Over the weekend, boys basketball clinched a conference championship with two wins over Franklin County and Lawrenceburg on Friday night. The boys beat Franklin County 48-24. Leading scorers were Gage Brown and Caleb Sparks with 13 points and Toby Billup with 12. Saturday, the Spartans defeated Lawrenceburg in a close match 36-32. The Spartans are now 14-7 for the season and will next be in action tomorrow at Northeastern. Over the weekend, Evan placed fourth overall and was awarded the Ward E. Brown Mental Attitude Award at State. Good job, Evan, on a good season. A parade for Evan Schaefer begins at 5 tonight, starting down 30th Street, down Park Road, and finishing on Central Avenue. This parade is to congratulate Evan Schaefer on his accomplishments at the State Wrestling Meet. Please come out and show your support. Quentin Jones placed first overall in the new Palestine Diving Sectional. He will dive tomorrow for regionals. Good luck and congrats. 
There is no sports action for tonight. Birthdays for today are Tyrone Isaacs and Tess Montgomery. Birthdays for tomorrow are Savannah Cox and Taylor Harrison. Happy birthday. I miss the snow days. I'm really tired, and that's all for CHS Today.